this story right. You and I got on Monday and we said that, you know, uh, we didn't get to the Black Star subject because people who are watching our show let us know that the Black Star album, No Fear of Time, is no longer available on Luminary. We had no idea. This, this isn't in the news. Nobody's reporting this. This is just straight up fans like, yo, what's going on? Tell it got ghosts, whatever, whatever. So after we do our show, or maybe while we're doing our show on Monday, coincidentally, Talib makes a post saying <laughs> that um, the album is no longer on Luminary, mm-hmm. and it's about to be on uh, Bandcamp, and they're going to sell it for $9. They said the vinyl is on the way. Now, if you're just tuning into the show and you don't know what Black Star did or you know what No Fear of Time is about, Basically, No Fear of Time was released on the Luminary app, which is a podcast app, last May. Have access to the album. Mm -hmm. Those people who were on Luminary for $4.99 a month for a full year, they're not getting a free copy of this album or anything. And some people are you know, upset about it. Rightfully so. That's their money. And so they voiced their um, their gripes with Talib on his Instagram post. And you know what Talib does? He doesn't say sorry. He doesn't say any of those things. He just starts going at fans. No, he went at us too. And that's part of why I want to address first because uh, Go ahead. I believe you issued a statement via According to Hip Hop saying that what, what did you say? Let's see. Because I want to pull up what you said right quick. Because, quite frankly, you gave him more grace than he an artist. Uh, we were report. We were just reporting the news based on a direct on direct feedback from Black Stars fans slash customers on our platform. And that's when he, um, you know, addressed to us on Instagram and says, according to Hip Hop, is a liar. Um, no fan of mine will accuse me of sw- It doesn't. So why is that? The expected from Black Star. Stop being goofy and stop treating artists like you're a fucking slave. This album ain't for you since you feel that way. <laughs> okay, see, <clears throat> this is what I'm saying. When you released that statement, it was kind of like, well, you're giving him more life. And and here's the, the thing about it. He gets to... But he doesn't deserve our grace because really all he's done to according to hip hop in the time that he's partaking with us is partaking, belittling and becoming belligerent with our fans. He's actually been counterproductive to our growth because he never has anything positive to say about us. And I only say that because and it's very apparent to me and this is psychological and this is part of what I want to break down. We've said many glowing things about this man on this show. I literally three weeks ago on this show said, I don't know if I've ever heard him rhyme better than he is currently rhyming right now. Now, when according to hip hop makes that type of positive statement about him, this is for you since you're watching. Why can't you find it within yourself when we say positive things about you to highlight those things since you're such a positive influence, you know, in the community and such, you know, a positive influence in this culture. When I gave No Fear of Time the album of the year rating. Why did he not retweet or repost that then? Mm -hmm. Was I a liar when I said your album was the album of the year? Was I a liar when I said Peppers was one of the verses of the year? You see the problem when you say things like that and you have the checks and balances that he has is lack thereof is that you really make yourself feeling like a fool. And so I'm not even upset at him. I feel sad for him because he's a sorry case of a black man who quite frankly is lost in his own space and he doesn't know what he's doing in a myriad and a multitude of ways. And I want to start addressing that and breaking that part down. We don't have to do the incendiary back and forth because I've invited him respectfully on any platform that he wants to debate. Now he know he don't want no smoke with me. 
and so does everybody else that watches this podcast. But anything he wants to talk about in regard to in relationship to this and what we say on this show, just be even and fair about it. Yeah. We give you plenty of praise. We have been actually one of the few platforms that have actually talked about Black Star with Frequency. Because exactly. guess what, Mike? They really haven't been a group. I told you they disappeared for two decades yeah, and, pop, and pop back up acting like they were Prince or Michael Jackson. Now he's making Jay-Z title comparisons. You want to know why Jay-Z gets to set his shit on title and sit it there alone? How would he say for seven straight summers, no one quite did it like I did it? Has in he put in the work and built out a platform. And if he just wants to let his music reside there, you understand he's great enough as an artist. His catalog is great enough. And he's contributed enough to this culture musically that he deserves that. Black mm -hmm. Star does not deserve that same type of grace. Well, even in Jay-Z's sense, right? It's not even the same thing because Jay-Z's putting his stuff on a platform that actually has music for the consumer <laughs> outside of Jay-Z music. Now, I do want to address what you said about, um, you know, kind of giving him that caveat. I think when artists go out there and say these things and, you know, say such and such is a liar, blah, blah, blah. Fans, they side with artists, right? Correct. And really, the message was more so to the fans. They're like, right. listen, this has nothing to do with Talib. We're just reporting the way he's speaking to fans and what fans have expressed to us that they feel. You know what I mean? His fans. Right. But see, but because of who he is not as a mm -hmm. man and as a black man, you see, he'll end Peppers talking about Tulsa Greenwood, Oklahoma, you know, Black Wall Street. But notice he'll try to tear this black independent podcast down with his words. Yeah, yeah. See, people see that. Right. It's not matching up okay. is, is, is what I'm saying. And so what I'm asking of him, like respectfully, it's like, well, if you can't be respectful to the platform, and one of the few platforms that actually does talk about you, right. and actually puts your album in some top 10 lists and actually talks about your fan base and talks to your fan base. It's like if you can't show us respect, you don't deserve any. As in like we don't even need to make statements like that because you're not really deserving of those types of flowers if this is how you treat your fans, if this is how you treat our community, is this is who you are in hip hop? This is what I mean. He's behaving, and I've said this before, his behavior is frighteningly si similar to like a petulant white child that's grown up with white privilege, which is how black men with wealth and power and influence tend to behave. They tend to behave like their oppressors when they uh, um, acquire a certain amount of fame. And so it just appears to me that he's trying to use his fame to slander us at every turn instead of stepping to the plate and actually debating us because he's scared. Well, he could try to do whatever, but at the end of the day, like you said, these other publications aren't talking about no fear of time. And, you know, whether he wants to say anyone's a fan or, or not a fan or, uh, you know, the N word that he uses that refers to, you know, Germany, it's like, at the end of the day, we're actually talking about no fear of time. And we talked about it in glowing fashion. Mm -hmm. We just had, you know, we gave him another verse of the year. Yeah. We that just, year. And and most for Yonders. We just had a disagreement on how the album was being distributed. And once again, and how that was fair to the fans. And once again, you ended up doing what we initially said from the jump. There was never a disagreement, Mike. We just asked why it was on Luminary, what the deal was like, mm -hmm. and how this was fair to the fans. And they act like we were sitting up here asking for blood. It's like, no, if you're asking people to pay $5 a month, and this album is available right here. What else are they getting other than the album? How long is the album going to be here? Remember, we were asking all these questions. Where's the merch at? Where's the vinyl at? Yeah. What else are they getting from this subscription service? And we, we would say that about anybody. This isn't just a black star thing, as he tried to say in one of the posts. No, we would say that same thing about anybody. And I would ask the fans. I mean, Mike, it is kind of a black star thing, though, because nobody else is behaving this I'm saying, foolishly. Yeah, I'm saying if somebody else was hypothetically doing that, we would say the same thing. Right. What I'm saying is, like, to the fans out there, what do y'all think? Like, do you feel like your Luminary subscription was worth it after you spent whatever you spent on Luminary and now he puts it on Bandcamp? Or they, I don't want to say he. I keep saying that because Talib's vocal, most deaf, and Yasin Bey is a part of this as well. Because whatever deal they worked out with Luminary, he cashed that check too. So what they did was go out there and make people pay subscriptions, well, not make, a lot, tell their fans that they needed to pay a subscription to hear their album and then went back and sold it for $9 a year later. How do the fans feel about that? Because you know what it looks like to me? It looks like two men that have been pimped by this music system pimping their fans after being pimped all these years. That's, that's the vibe that it gives off musically. Because here's the thing. If this deal was great for Blackstar, then it would be black news and good black business 
to highlight. The fact that they are being so, so secretive about it makes me feel like, well, are you the pawn and the puppet in this game? And if you're not, then say so and show it. Like, you know? Yeah, I mean, look. What's, what's the problem with saying we got a great deal? Here's what we're getting because supposedly your fans should want to see you win, right? Should have no problem sharing your accolades and great deals that you broker. Every time Jay broker a deal, Mike, we hear about it and write down the pipeline because it's black business and he likes to notarize black people making deals that are inf influential to the black community. If you're that, say so. Stop making it seem like you're above reproach or, from asking questions. Like we talk about guys that ain't even really went platinum, Mike, and they're acting like they're diamond artists who the fans have been like waiting for the past two decades. The it's deal's not, not even the deal without the fans, though. That's the thing. The fans are needed in this situation. Uh, web visibility with the Super Chat says the infamous Hell on Earth and Murder Music, pure classic bangers, singles off of each album. Mob Deep has to be in the top 10 group. Um, Jermaine Johnson with the $20 Super Chat. Shout out to Jermaine. He's the one that let us know what was going on Jermaine with this album. Jermaine anyway. multiple times. <laughs> Said this is incredibly disappointing. I always support Talib. Been to a ton of his shows throughout Brooklyn, and I just reviewed my yearly subscription, renewed, excuse me, my yearly subscription to Luminary to continue to have access to No Fear of Time and Liberation too. So this man, Jermaine Johnson, is a real fan. He went out there and uh, just renewed a yearly subscription because it's interesting. The album came out last May. We're in June. We're about to go in July. So they want to drop this around the time when people are going to be renewing a yearly subscription, too. I'm sure Luminary's happy. You know, you unknowingly paid for it an extra month, Mike. I did. That's what I but mean. But I ain't going to trip on it. No, no, yeah. no. I mean, you're not tripping on it, but think about how many extra dollars they snag just on that automatic renewal flip. That's what mm -hmm. I mean. There's something about this. The business practices and the intention of it doesn't seem right. Because here's the thing that I know. When you're doing good business, you don't find yourself with a viable piece of product, and I do find the album to be quality enough to find call it a viable piece of product, you don't you shouldn't have to do all this jumping around and switching to stream services if your business affairs are in order. Because what it looks like to me is is that y'all need to go take some business classes about how to manage your affairs they properly. They know what they're doing. No, no, they no. screwed the fans over. Thank Knowingly. You. They Thank did that. You. They're not stupid, guys. Thank you. No, they've no, been no, in no. this game. They've no, been in this right. industry it's 25 either, years. It's either one they thing. know what they're doing. You're either screwing the fans or your business affairs no, aren't in order. they're now screwing step the, to the fans. Now step to the mic and say which one it is. But stop blaming according to hip-hop and don't call us no liars. Because I'm going to tell you what, Mike, and this is what I mean about how it comes from Talib. That's that privilege of how he grew up more like Theo Huxtable. See, he don't mm -hmm. understand that when you don't have nothing, all you have is your word. Yeah. And what you're not about to do is step out here and call me no liar. He throws words around. So right. I don't really take right. it. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. This is what I'm saying. We got to stop giving him a pass. This is somebody that yeah. in circles has looked at like an intelligent black man when the reality of the matter, he's a fool and a lost little boy. Facts. CJ Kid with the Super Chat says, uh, guys, the audio goes off when you show the images of the IG text on the stream. Okay. Uh, Miss LB with the Super Chat says, A2HH, y'all audio's cutting in and out. Um, Christopher Hogan with the Super Chat says, Big Boy and MJG are the most underrated rappers in a group. Definitely. Miss LB with the Super Chat says, To be fair, a fan was going back and forth with Talib before he tagged y'all, and Talib replied to all that was tagged. Okay. And it didn't start I, with y'all, in my opinion. He knew he was tagging. Don't tag us, fam. We didn't tag you. Jermaine Johnson we don't with know the Super him Chat like that. says, uh, Talib. Uh, has split personalities like broski once again i don't care stop giving him passes for his little boy tendencies he's okay. a grown black man if he is intelligent and articulate he needs to start behaving as such and stop pulling up on our platform and other platforms behaving like a lost little child og winston with the super chat says who dropped a better album thug or gunner <laughs> we can get to that we talked to atlanta stuff gunner it looks like gunner though jermaine johnson with the super chat says uh don't meet your heroes. He might be a uh, beach ass Nikos. Uh, let's see. It don't matter even about that. It's this is what I mean. Is like it's getting to the point with how he talks and how he treats people. I'm gonna tell you something. Like I understood something. Mm -hmm. You remember when I, when me and Lupe were going back and forth on Twitter? Right. I can honestly say this. After just reading how Talib was talking to his fans, mm -hmm. I have a whole new respect for Lupe. Mm -hmm. Like in the sense that it's like. No, Lupe didn't approach me this way. You remember how Lupe right. approached me? Lupe approached me like he's like, hey, so I think that you think, you know what I'm saying, that yeah. you're more intelligent than me. Like he was saying, like, hey, if you really want to dance, come on. 
like let's dance he wasn't right. a child about it he was a man about it this is a childish way of handling these matters with the fans with according to hip-hop with whoever he's directing it at there is a such thing as like tact and and really i realized some of my own flaws in his behavior which is like well you want to know what i'm not going to just step to the plate and blast him the way he'd been blasting people because mm-hmm. that's not about to work Ron, can i get the other uh ipad my bad we having production issues. Yeah, iPad nah, issues. Nah, my iPad. iPad's about to die. Oh, yeah. Let me cord. get another you need a iPad. Cord? Uh, no, I got a cord here, but it ain't okay. stretching. Okay. No, no, no. I got the. Extended nah, we cord. already That's had like saying. a whole plan for this. I just didn't have a signal. We I real should've. fancy. We got. I should have went over the signal. Yeah, we have multiple show iPads up in here now. Right. Teleprompter coming soon. <laughs> right. But um, it's it just, just a shame, it, man. It is. You know it what needs, I think? It needs, it needs to stop because here's what I'm saying, Mike. You know how many people Spotify laid off this year from podcasts? I don't even know. A lot. Yeah. You want to know why we didn't get laid off? Privately owned black business entity. He's supposed to be supporting us if he is who he says he is. Because here's the reality of the matter. We've supported him and his fan base by talking about his product. And talk about his product glowingly. And his verses glowingly. And his mic performance glowingly. And he never says a word about any of those things. Now, those are questions I have now. Why do you only bring up the negative things that we have to say? Or the criticism. No, but there's something about these quote unquote what woke rappers and how they thrive on negativity that's the og ipad it looked like even more gangsta ipad what are we doing? <laughs> what OG. Are we doing? we're making more money with a2h than I, than I thought huh mr lb with a super chat says i wasn't giving him a pass at all i was just stating how it started uh i agree with y'all uh rigor 49 with no a super chat says um where do you guys rank uh daylight's pen as far as mcs maybe not the best song maker but as a wordsmith i think that he has the illest pen in hip-hop king los too those are some great lyricists. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me tell you what I think happened. Because a lot of people will, will say, okay, well, why didn't they just put it on Bandcamp, you know, initially? Because we had shows about this, and we were saying that, like, look, pop-up shop or just put it out there online. People will go support it, um, you know, sell the vinyl. Now all that's coming. It feels like, and I have no, you know, knowledge of this, but just my knowledge of the business and, you know, how things work. It feels like whatever deal was worked out with Luminary in the podcast they already have, they told Luminary that, you know what, we can bring you a bunch of subscribers with this new album. And they kind of worked out, it sounds like, they kind of worked out a deal with Luminary to bring them a certain amount of subscribers via this album. And they got broken off by Luminary for that, right? But they never shared with the fan base like McDonald's might do when they bring the McRib. Just say it's for a limited time, man. You could say that. <laughs> he went McRib. <laughs> yeah, McRib. You know, they say that on the commercial because... For a limited for, time. Yeah, for customer Cause, service cause, reasons. Cause it's it's for a limited so, time yeah, only. Right. Fuck with it now and, you know what I'm saying, it might be gone Mike, or it will be gone. Mike, what if what I'm trying to tell you is, is that what if the business practices are so poor that they didn't even know that or weren't even privy to they those things? Are you certain? I, I believe it. I don't believe they didn't know that because, you know, one thing I only, I I only know what I see, Mike, and based on his behavior and his silence and his narcissism when he's not silent. It's like, no, I don't believe that necessarily. You know, why they I believe be that bad, they might be bad businessmen. They're either bad businessmen or they're taking advantage of their fans. I think they're taking I, advantage of their I'd fans. I'd rather believe that they're bad businessmen. It's it's the whole manslaughter to murder conversation we have. It's like, well, based on intent, it's like, are we doing 15? Are we doing 30? They intentionally did this. Because now the story is changing. You know what I'm saying? 30. Like, that's murder. Mans- manslaughter <laughs> is bad business. Murder is taking advantage of your own fan base and waited two decades for you. Mm-hmm. Murder. 24 years. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. That's how long the bid would be before you would get an opportunity. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, I think that they intentionally knew this. And the reason why I believe that is because when the fans saw that the album was no longer there, we still didn't hear anything from him. Like, you know what I mean? He's the kind of person that pops off. If this shit was... Uh, uh, taken off, announced to him, he would have said something immediately. But they didn't. He too well read to be doing this shit, Mike. I don't think you're hearing what I'm saying though. Like, like he too well read and intelligent as a grown man to continue behaving this way every single time. Education like, doesn't give you character. It does less. So say that doesn't less. matter. You know what but I mean? What I'm like, saying is, is that he don't have any. There's no agility to to the vitriol. There's not. There's no sensibility to it. It don't make any sense. It's like even when I saw what he was saying, and it's just like, oh, here he go again. It's like, do we? <laughs> Mental health is real. I'm gonna say it again. Like, do we need some therapy too? 
It's unfortunate, man. Because, you know, he might be beefing with somebody like Kanye because, you know, birds of a feather with mental health issues, you know, bump heads together. But again, like, Kanye's not even a part of the discussion. Group again, chat therapy. Kanye is a distraction in this matter. The bottom line is you took advantage of your fans, and now you want them to go get an album for $9. Now, mental health is at, real. at some point, why would you not just say, and again, this is, you know, just me talking, those people that went out there and paid four ninety nine or renewed their yearly subscription like Jermaine Johnson did, send them some merch or something, man. I send them you, something. You think I'd be joking? I'm like, like no. Why I, not? See, Mike, you think I'd be joking? I'm like, no. Kanye took our money and I want it back. I'm like, no. These dudes taking people money. I want my money back. I, I don't be joking about stuff like that. It's like, no. Nah, Kanye put it. on the show. Mm, he did. <laughs> Ron, at least he gave you what you uh what was paid for. Ron sat next to me at the Kanye show. Ron, how was that Kanye show? <laughs> next, right. <laughs> it was great. It was an experience. Need our money. Bro. Uh Rigger 49 with the super chat says Talib and most are dope. Why why does it matter? Only reason I stopped talking about Donda Mike is cuz Kendrick dropped that Wait a what, minute, wait whatever a minute. that was. Wait a minute. Did you hear this comment? No, I didn't. Rigger 49 says Talib and most are dope. Why does it matter? See, that's the problem, guys. Like, you got, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, you guys will let anybody get away with anything as long as they could put the wor words together nicely, right? You know, you know as the, long as the beat sounds you know good, the, you right? Know, you know the Dave Chappelle skit where they're like, they're doing the interrogations about like the OJ trial and the Michael Jackson stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I don't care what he did. He made Thriller. That's pretty much what this dude is saying. It's like a Dave Chappelle sketch. It's like, I don't care. They're black star. They made definition. It's like, I don't give a damn. I mean, the problem is though, and again, even and that ain't Thriller, just it, so we are clear. But even with that if narrative, you, though, pass, you need to make something like Thriller. Even with that narrative though, Coop, and I get that in a vacuum, those are also things that we don't know, right? We don't know what happened at Neverland. We don't know what happened wherever. We just know what the coverage is. We know what happened here. This nigga screwed y'all over, and you still don't care. It's, it was done right in your face. He gets in the uh, Instagram post, going in on fans, and none of that matters. Because he can rap? And here's what I mean about how we <laughs> crazy. Here's what I mean about how we desensitize ourselves to it. It's like when Talib get into it with people, people just be like, "Oh, that's just Talib." That's it's just like, how he is. It's just like it's like no, no, stop, stop, pause. Like, do we need do we need to like do like HR rules? Like, it's like you know what? That's yellow. You're getting in the caution range. Need you to slow down. We need to have like some hungry, angry, lonely, tired. You know. That's when you make your worst decisions when you go to counseling. See, I've been to counseling by force and by choice. Mental health issues. I guess I'm the kind of person that... Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. That's what that nigga is. I think I'm the kind of person that when you just start going off on the handle and you're just unhinged, I, I just tune you out. Hungry, like, angry, lonely, tired. So yeah, that's I don't, usually I don't. when you become unhinged, Mike. That's why I'm saying if he went to therapy, he would know there are actually keys to let you know when you might be losing it. If he went to therapy, he would know these things, but he doesn't. So he unabashedly just ruins people online and thinks it's okay because this <laughs> nigga need help. And we got some big super chats, man. My mere thoughts always showing super Can love. We, we, he, we need to donate some to get Talib in therapy. Nah, that nigga got y'all luminary money. Matter Fuck fact, that. Matter of nah. fact, transfer some luminary nah, money from nah. the fans. Since he's taking advantage of the fans, yeah. we might as well get and he don't even some help. Yeah, yeah. We might as well take some of this luminary money mm. or ban no. money and get this nigga some help. I mean, luminary should cover that under his plan. He works for them anyway, right? It should be part of the benefits package. And you know, when we worked at the <laughs> airport, Mike, that was free therapy. Yeah. Get me a little session in whenever I felt like it. Mommy of Thoughts with the $50 Super Chat showing love says, just showing uh, support, keeping the progress going, fellas. A2HH, unknown name with a $99 Super Chat says, Killer Mike been on repeat since he dropped for me. Appreciate that love, unknown name. That's probably Killer Mike out there. I've been playing the <laughs> That's probably <laughs> Dope album, I've unknown playing, name. I've been playing the Killer Mike, unknown name. It is album yeah. of the year. And thanks for the Super Chat. Yeah, thanks for the money, Killer Mike. But yeah, um, is there anything else to say on this matter? Because at the end I of the day, the show talking about him and the help that he needs. But we have well, I don't want to. I don't want to center this on him. This no, is I about to center the it around the, the help that he needs because of how he treats his fans. This is what I'm saying. Is like let's stop talking about how he treats people and start getting to the crux of why. Because that's the part that we're led to, to therapy session for anyway, which means this nigga gonna be in therapy for the next decade, but he has the money to pay for it. So all right, well let me say this. Because I want to kind of change the subject before we move on. Yes. But is, is Yassine complicit in this as well? Because Narcissistic. 
which too is a mental health issue. They deserve each other. Next topic. See.